Okay, this is a simple how I make gifts video. Um, I'm going to try to keep it straightforward and not ramble on. So I'm in Movavi or Movavi. I think it's Movavi video editor. It is a very old version. I think they've updated it like three times since I got this. And my computer is very old, so the capabilities would not be what they are if I had a more modern computer or the updated version. So first we add media files. You pick out the video or picture or whatever it is you want to use. In this case, I just want to make a simple GIF. I'm not going to add any text. So you select it, open. Okay. Now I know I used a lot of video when I was capturing this scene. So there's going to be a bunch that is trash. So I'm sliding the slider. Da, 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 da. Get pretty close. And I want to be very careful. Okay. So I've got the slider. It's marked here. It's already on the bar. So I have the tools open. If I was not on the bar, you can see the tools would be closed. But since I am on the bar on the video, the tools are open. I want to snip this. So now I have two parts from the same scene. And I click on this side of the scene and I trash it. So everything there is trash. Now I want to zoom in so I can get closer on the timers. And... Zoom back. I know a lot of this back stuff is going to be trash. Do, 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 do. I always go over and under. Like, I capture a lot before and a little bit after. If there's a particular clip I want. Because I want to make sure that I don't get it cut off. Give it a whirl. La, la, la. Okay, we're getting close. So I'm going to snip it right there and see how we do. Now I want to cut off all this extra stuff from the end. And let's see where what it, how it sounds. Let cut off the sound. And let's see. Okay, so I still need to, so I'm going to zoom in a little more. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. So I need to cut a little bit off. See where we're at. What we're doing is we're zooming in on the timer so you can get a much more accurate time. The further zoomed in you are, the more to the decimal here you're going to get. So, let's see. We're going to back up a frame. Nope, we don't want that. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Snip. Let's cut that part out. Okay, now go back to the beginning. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Maybe I want to cut just a smidge off the bottom. Maybe, maybe. So... Okay, let's cut this part off and see what it gives us. Snip. Cut that little part out. And let's see what we get. Yeah, I'm a little happier with that because it's a little bit more cohesive. Because I really just want the wiggle. I don't want the whole more than happy to give it a whirl is what she says. 
I just really want the give it a whirl part. So I'm pretty happy with that. And this isn't going to have any sound because we're going to save it as a GIF, not a video. And so I'm going to select File, Save Movie as a Media File. There are a bunch of options for when I do movies, I usually use either, I usually use MP4 because my computer is, you know, again, old. It's like three or four years old. Occasionally, if I absolutely have to, because whatever I'm doing requires it, I put it in this mode, move, move, but almost never. So I pretty much always use this MP4. But, in this case, we're doing GIF, and I'm going to call it, give it a whirl, because that's what it is, start, okay, and GIF save really, equal, really quickly, we're going to open the output folder so we can see it. This is where it's been saved to, and it shows us, it's highlighted, let's click on it. Okay, so it's pretty happy. Um, we could... Try slowing this down. Why can't I remember where the speed is? Oh, yeah. Okay. So if I want to adjust the speed and make it a little less, a little slower, you go to settings. Speed, let's turn it down just a smidge. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think I like that a little better. So we're going to save it again. Again, as a GIF, and you can select whatever file you were, where you want to save it. Let's call it Whirl Slower. And let's see the final product of that. I kind of like that. I think I'll stick with that for now. And so we're pretty done. Um, I'm going to close this. The video editor is asking, oh, you have unsaved changes. Unsaved changes will be lost, but we've already saved it. So no worries. So just don't save. And then you're back at your screen. And that is the way I use my video editor to make GIFs. And if you have to add text, there's more involved in that.